live. You can open us up, McCom. All right, shalom. All right, shalom. 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 Back with you again with Back another again with another you know, you know, you know, before we do further, you know, further, you know, further, you know, further you know, honor, honor, all glory, all glory you know, to the heavenly father, the heavenly father, and his son, 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 Next up, double honor. Next up, double honor. So, middle, 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 middle stone. Middle stone. You can keep it going to the Bible. To the Bible. And do it up for one. To 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 do it Con, con, yeah, man. Uh, the lesson we're gonna go into today to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Hashem and this GMS Raleigh collaboration is on trusting in the Lord, man. You see, because that's a very uh, important thing to remember as the times that we're living in now. Okay, keep trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, who the word because God is Jesus Christ. So, whatever brothers precept we got, uh, bring them out. Uh, Proverbs uh, three Proverbs five. Three and five. Yes, sir. It says, it says trust, trust, trust in Yahweh. Trust in Yahweh. Thine heart. All thine heart. Mm -hmm. Trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua with all thine heart. Not some, not half, not a little. It says all, you know, all your heart. Now, where a heart go back to the Hebrew word a lot, which means mind. You know, as a matter of fact, I got a definition of the word trust right quick. It goes back to the Hebrew word patak, and it says to have confidence. And we know the word confidence goes back to the word faith. So to have faith in your whole body, it says um, to feel safe. To be secure and that's y'all about she not all day long man that's why we put our trust in them because y'all about she not is the only one that can provide that protection for us as we're living as we're living in these evil times that we're living in now man he read i'll read that one more time baba kasha read it nice and slow proverbs proverbs with all thine with all thine heart, heart. Mm -hmm. And lean and not lean into their own, own understanding. Right, and lean not into their own understanding, man, because that's what the, uh, these other guys are doing. They're leaning into their own understanding. That's why they're bringing out bugged out doctrines, man. Okay? Because they're, they're, they're being deceived by their own vain opinion. And Yahweh Bashim Shah is going to destroy them if they don't repent from their mind state, man, and get in order and align with Yahweh Bashim Shah and the service of prophets that he set up, the elder apostles and the elder bishops on down, man. Okay. That was it on that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Khan, Khan, keep going, keep going, my brother. Let's lock. Right. Verse six. Verse six. In all thy in all ways, ways and knowledge him. Mm -hmm. And he shall and he direct, shall thy, direct pass. thy pass. Right. In all thy ways, acknowledge Yahweh Bashim Shah. We went into this at camp. The word acknowledge goes back to the word uh confess. All right, and that's what we're doing. We're confessing. In the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, we're acknowledging Yahweh Bashim Yahusha and their sovereignty, man. You know, we're declaring His wonderful works as we're teaching and breaking down the scriptures the right way through the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, and that's why He's guiding us more and more into the truth, you know, and getting more understanding of the scriptures. That was in the next Just this one. Just All right. Says, says, be not be wise in thy own, 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 own eyes. Fear Yahweh Bashim Yahusha and depart from evil. Right, be not wise in thy own eyes, man. That's what these guys are doing, man. They're literally thinking that by them coming up against GMS, all right, because they're emotional, all right, that they think they're being wise, man. You know, they're going off, breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. They think they're being wise, man. They're wise in their own eyes, but they, but Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is deceiving them, man. You know, and what was that last that last part, brother? It says, it says no, I'll go I'll to go read it over again. All right, all right. Proverbs, Proverbs 37, 37. Be not wise, be not wise in thy own, own eyes. eyes. Mm -hmm. Fear your house. 
and depart from evil. Right. Fear Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, which we know the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the Bible. And it says, and depart from evil. Because the scripture says that uh, those that fear the Lord, I mean, the fear of the Lord drive away sins, man. You know, the willful sins, man. The temptations of this world by us fearing Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. It doesn't affect us, man. We're gonna we always stick to the scriptures and what the scriptures say, you know. That was it on that, brother. Come, come. What you got on uh, the come? This is Psalms, this is Psalms chapter, 30, chapter 30, 30. verse three. Verse three. Trust in Trust your house, your house. Right. and do good. And do good. Right. Trust in your house by Shemar Shah and do good. And what's the good? The good that we're doing now. First and foremost, fearing Yahweh by Shem Yahshua and keeping his commandments to the best of our abilities. All right? And break it down the scriptures as the way that we've been taught, you know, by our teachers, you know? Still continuing what we've been learned. Okay? Keep on doing the works of the Lord. What are you doing, brother? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Don't to the 37, 37. Trust in Yahweh. Trust in Yahweh. And do good. And do good. Mm -hmm. So shall thou so dwell. And, and verily thou shalt shall Right, yeah. See, we want that protection from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know, the servants of the Lord, they're going to be eaten, they're going to be fed, they're going to be protected, man. And then also they're going to get delivered. We're hoping to be a part of that number, which is of the elect, to have, to be in the good grace of the Lord, to be able to uh, have that protection, man. You know, especially in these times that we're living in now. You know, but it's only going to ramp up and get worse from this uh, day on out. The year to turn it up, baby. That was it on that. You had something, Shamar? Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, uh Sirach to It says, look at the generations of old and, and see. Right, and how do we do that? We do that by studying these scriptures, man. That's how we look at the generations of old. Uh, the apostle paul said in romans the 15th chapter whatsoever things written for our time was written for our learning man so it's the scriptures that we look to and see what our forefathers did read on brother it says did any ever trust in and was confounded right now we're confounded meaning put the shame and the answer is no although they came up against us although they scoffed and scorned that is real heavy the demonize us to murder our character. We kept trusting in Yahweh Bashim and our Shah to start off with the other apostles, the other bishops on down. You know, and we kept doing the works of the Lord because we fear the Lord rather than man. Okay. Read on, brother. Or, or did any or did abide any in his fear, fear and was forsaken? And, was forsaken. and the answer is no. Those who fear the Lord, the Lord always protected them and always was with them, man. Okay. Our forefathers of old, our righteous forefathers, and then uh, us in these times that we're living in now. You know? Or whom did he ever he despise? Ever despise they you know, called upon they call him. Upon him. Right. Who did the Lord ever hate? Because that's what the word despise goes back to. It goes back to hate. Who did the Lord ever hate that called upon his name in sincerity and out of fear? And the answer is nobody, man. No, no times. Because those that fear the Lord and call his name in sincerity. Y'all by Shema is going to answer their prayers, man. Because that's the prayer, because they're righteous. They're doing the righteous works of Yahweh by Shema that he commanded us to do to the best of our abilities. That was it in that, brother? Um, just one more. Just one more. Uh -huh. it, says, it says, For Yahweh by Shema is full of compassion, full of compassion and, and mercy, and mercy. Mm -hmm. long suffering, long suffering. Mm -hmm. and very pitiful. And very pitiful. Right, see, yeah. Yahweh yeah. Shema Shah is very long suffering, he's passionate, but he shows mercy. And the ultimate mercy that he showed us, you know, is giving us this truth, man. You know, and how did we able, how was we able to get this truth back? By the bloodshed of Yahweh Shah. You know, him going on the cross and die for our sins, man. You know, that's the importance of Yahweh Shah. And we're gonna keep trusting in Yahweh by Shema Shah, Lord's willing, you know, all the way to the end. And forgive our sins, sins. Mm -hmm. and save us in, in the time of affliction. Right, and forgive our sins, man. That's what we want. We want our sins to be blotted out and save us in the time of the affliction. Okay, and the ultimate affliction is going to be that Jacob's trouble. We're hoping to be delivered up out of here, man. 
while, while we're the so-called UFO is the chariots, man. But before then, you know what I'm saying, the times that we're living in now, the situations that we're going through now, Yahweh Bashim Arshah protects us, you know, and delivers us out of there, man. You know? That was internet, brother? Come on. Come on. But yeah, uh, can we bring out one more? This is Nahum. This is Nahum. Check the one. Check the one. Verse seven. Verse seven. The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Is good. Is good. Mm -hmm. A stronghold. A stronghold. In trouble. In trouble. Right. See, that's what that's what Yahweh Bashima Shai is, man. He's a stronghold, man. In the day of trouble. What's that stronghold? His name. The, the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and a righteous benefit to it in the safe, man. You know. And what would it be a part of that number that when we call upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Arshah, that would be protected and as well as delivered, man? It says, it says, you know them, them, them. Mm -hmm. read that one more time, brother. This is name one, the Lord, 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 the that trust in him. him, right? And Yahweh Shah already know who loved the elect, who's going to trust in to trust in him and persevere to the end, man. Or if they have to die for his name, Yahweh Shah Shah already knows who's who, just like Yahweh Shah Shah already knows who's of the two thirds, man. And that's going to be destroyed in this time. So we're hoping, we're fighting, we're striving to be a part of the elect to be delivered. You know what I'm saying? By Yahweh Shah Shah and being their good graces. That's why we're doing what we're doing now. You know, having faith as well as works, man. That was in that, brother. All right, close this out, brother. Uh, you know, uh, you know, that's a lesson. That's a lesson. Oh, yeah. 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 Next up, brother Honest of our apostles and others of Great Millstone, and a double shalom to you, sister Akim, right there. Shalom. Shalom.